Don't Be Afraid 2 is a first-person perspective horror game and a sequel to the 2020 game of the same title. Take on the role of David, a young man trying to cope with terrible trauma from his childhood and dive deep into his fears and nightmares. Relive the darkest moments of David's life while exploring the horrific locations, gathering clues about his past and solving puzzles left behind by the deranged murderer toying with his life. Welcome to Don't Be Afraid 2. Children, children are the innocents of this world, although they sometimes have nightmares. For none of them nightmares should become a reality, snatched from the safe home of their parents, trapping in a labyrinth full of dead fear, confronting twisted forces for whom tormenting their victims is the only form of amusement. Every day, I have to fight with demons from the past. Flashbacks are still in control of my life. Distorted faces, gruesome riddles, decaying bodies, and the scent of fear have been ingrained in me. So I become entwined, just like by poisonous ivy. Sometimes I can't distinguish reality from the visions in my head. Am I dreaming? Maybe I have never escaped, and I'm still trapped. What have I done to deserve this repeating hell every single day? My name is David, and 15 years ago, I was kidnapped. Will you help me overcome my trauma? The David? Is that you, honey? Please help me. <laughs> All right, guys. So I played the first one of this about a year, a year and a half ago. And I was asked to try out the demo of part two. So we'll see how this goes, but I can already tell you I will be grabbing the game. So yeah, let's uh, get scared together. Dirty bitch. Oh, I forgot about the mannequins. <laughs> God damn it. Okay. Mannequins are f so horrible. Press F to toggle between normal and UV flashlight. UV light allows you to discover hidden messages and hints. Yeah, so sometimes when you're looking around and there's like a puzzle you're trying to solve, you use your UV so you can see what's going on. What have we got here? Kill yourself. Trapped. What's that say? Scared. Mum? Ha-ha! Die, 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 boy. Okay. Oh, God, mannequins creep me out, man. Oh! I'm looking right at them and they creep me out. Oh, we've got a three there. What was on here? Broken heart. We've got a three there, and an eye. We need to remember this, we might need to. Oh, there's another three. Oh, so good at jump scares. Oh, you creepy bitch. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay understand why so many of you tell me to uh you are next no i'm not i refuse understand why so many of you tell me you want me to set up a camera my facial expressions are gonna make you laugh when i finally do hug are we gonna have a hug okay Press space to inspect. 
What is this meant to be? Okay. I would like to not be next, please. Why? I don't know why. You guys are messing with me, not the other way around. Oh my god. I still remember the mannequins from the first one. So creepy. Okay, maybe this bowl is meant to signify a heart? Oh, Jesus, really? Oh, it's a nose. Oh my God. Yeah, let's throw clowns in just to make it even more creepy. Man. Oh. Oh. I did not like that. Oh, you. Yeah, alright. Uh... Oh, see how they've all turned around? Oh, God. Now sleep. And remember, don't be afraid. Oh, you. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. I would have just gone to sleep, mate. You didn't have to... Hi, David. David? I... You look pale. Are you okay? It's just... Nightmares. They, they keep haunting me. I... I feel like I'm back to my childhood again. It's... Maddening. Remember, it's completely normal after all you've experienced. You will go through episodes of despair, sure, but what's important is that you don't lose hope. Hope, huh? But it's been 15 years already. How much longer can I go on like this? Why do I keep getting worse? David, your abduction has left its mark on you. A mark which can't be erased easily, that's why I'm here. So we can work through this to get... I'll find you, boy. Did you hear that? Hear what? Did you hear that? That voice. It's Frank. Oh, God. He's back. Fuck. I can't... I can't do... <laughs> David, calm down. The man who hurt you is gone. It's just you and me here. You're safe. Just breathe. Right. Right, he's... he's dead. Don't look around, sit properly. Just breathe in, breathe out. That's it. You see, the human mind, especially under duress, has a tendency to distort reality. It can make you see things that aren't really there. It can make you hear voices or notice hidden patterns. That's a part of... Part of the process? I me losing my mind, losing track of time, and waking up in God knows what places is also part of the process. What do you mean? Recently... Recently I've been having these... I don't know, gaps in memory. Sometimes... I, I don't know what's happening to me, or... I, I do, to some degree, but... It, it feels like I'm walking through the fog... Fuck, it's getting worse, isn't it? David, episodes of short-term amnesia can occur in patients with post-traumatic stress disorder. It's another symptom that makes me emphasize what I've been saying all along. I know, I know, I know. I should take a break, but... What good will it do if I go somewhere? It's not a cure. How is this supposed to help me? Sometimes, you have to cut deep. To find what you're looking for. But sometimes, you have to let it go. It's not about finding a cure. There's no magic remedy that will instantly heal you. But you do need to give your brain some space to sort through all this traumatic experiences on its own. Maybe. Maybe you're right. 
We can try to find a way that would allow you to pick up the pieces in a safe, friendly environment. There's one place I know and recommend. Some of my patients stayed there before with great results. You can retreat there, forget about everything for a while, and if you need anything, I'm just a phone call away. Yeah, I'll try. I'll go there. I can't keep being afraid forever. You better hide, David. <laughs> It was one hell of a journey to get up here. Laura never mentioned that taking care of myself would be so exhausting. Wow, what an intro. Oh, these sorts of things trip me out. Feels like I'm back in therapy again. Is this something we can mess with? No, it's just a picture, right? Why, hello there! I need my sleeping pills. I'll have a hard time falling asleep without them. Going on here. A class of medication designed to alleviate symptoms of depression. Operate on the intricate chemistry of the brain by modulating neurotransmitter levels, particularly serotonin, norepinephrine, uh -huh. and dopamine. They restore equilibrium. I always feel like someone is watching me from inside. Keep it open then, mate. Probably creep me out too, to be fair. What we got here? Pain away. You painkillers? Yeah, they are. Okay, let's uh, pop a trazodone. We use it. Oh, do we need to hang a leak? No. Oh, we got more pills here. Candies. Without them, I would have an even harder time pretending to be normal. <laughs> All right. I could do with no nightmares this time around. What? What? What the hell is this? Where am I? I, I need some light. Right now, or I'll lose my mind. So creepy. Okay, that's got a code on it. Where's the bloody light switch? It said he needs light, and I don't see any bloody light switch. <laughs> Oh, you Hello? dirty bitch. Is anybody here? Oh, there we go. Flashlight. I mean, flashlight. <laughs> Can I take that note on the ground? Okay. Oh. Nothing here though, right? Nope. Someone broke the computer. Was that we just took? Batteries. A equals 1, B equals 2, Z equals 26. 1, 2, 26. Can we take those as well? Oh. Oh, you can stay in there, mate. Whatever the hell you are. Yeah, I need to do it. Oh. What the hell is happening? Who knows, mate? OK. 
Okay. And what were these on the wall? Okay. What have we got here? Boy, no, that's about me. From 15 years ago. The end of the reign of horror. Serial murderer found dead by J D. Whitlock. A suspect in a series of child abductions and murders had been found dead today. A police spokesman confirmed. The officers were involved about his were informed about his whereabouts after a boy, the kidnapper's latest victim, has escaped and was found by a nearby patrol. After searching the grounds of the abandoned school incident or in indica oh, indicated excuse my dyslexia mid speech here by the boy as the place where the abductees were held a body was found and subsequently identified as belonging to the infamous serial kidnapper franklin deegan as we learn from sources close to the police the identification of the remaining victims is ongoing while the sole survivor has been hospitalized his condition is not known, but one can speculate. Yeah. Can't pick up that note. Someone vandalized this room, or am I even in the same place? Okay, focus. There are three fuses missing. If I can manage to restore the power, I should be able to open the door. Some objects can be interacted with only if you have a specific item selected. Select items from inventory. I can't, there's nothing. I don't have anything like that. The flashlight's still working fine. I'll keep it for now. So what, I need to find fuses in the room? What have we got here? Oh. Miss Martinez, thank you for taking prompt action in this very delicate case. We have forwarded your report to the authorities and have already been informed that an investigation will be taking place shortly. You should soon be contacted by Miss Erica Cadell the person leading the investigation on behalf of some someone. Please keep us informed about any further development in the case. Sincerely, Dr. Thomas New Newen. Okay. What the fuck am I hearing, man? Creepy. Am I meant to find fuses in here somewhere? Oh, the music box. It needs a key. That's fucking useless, then, isn't it? We trying to see if this says something. I don't think so. We turn it off. No. The patient occasionally talks about experiences, referring to them as if they were dreams. His mother also appears in the stories, but her role changes depending on the narrative. At times she is a victim like himself, while other times she is implicated in the abductions. The coherence of his statements is difficult to grasp. It should be assumed that everything is a result of shock, unless it's intentional confabulation, further observation is ongoing. Am I meant to go out? 
Maybe? Let me out! Please! Nothing I can do here. Okay, there's one. This again, please. Did I miss another one somewhere then? Anne? I feel like I've seen her before. A solid wall. I'm trapped. Where are all these notes? V markings, maybe? I can do anything to it. Punishment, sorrow on earth. Truly great men must, I think, experience great sorrow on the earth. L I E lie. What does that mean? Oh, wait. So that's telling me the alphabet is numbered. What if it's Anne? Because I found the two things with Anne, which would make N. Anne... 
14? Which doesn't work because I've got three digits. Shit. So that's not it. Die? Which would make it... Hang on. That'd be four. Ah, oh, fuck. Um. I is nine. And five. Oh! Genius. Alright. My brain's doing something. Or is this for the cupboard? Didn't this say it needed a key? Oh, there we go. I know this melody from somewhere. Now sleep. And you can be a brave. Oh shit. Diploma is presented to Anne Martinez in recognition of your high standards and continuing excellence in nursing and to the outstanding contributions you give every day to all your patients. Okay. Let's have a little you Oh. Do you hear their screams? Let's take that. Okay. Truly great men must, I think, experience great sorrow on the earth. Okay, so that was what we found a second ago. Nothing weird about it. So how many digits is this? Four? Okay, now. Where was the... Where was that thing that had... Had some letters marked? Because I don't remember what letters were marked. Oh yeah, it was lie. L-I-E. I wonder if that could be the code. Um, so it would be... Twelve. Nine. Five. Oh! What kind of sick joke is this? Why, why is this happening again? Okay. Does this have something to do with something? missing um have I not looked at everything got the picture from there undone that with die that was lie got this open um oh 
Yeah. Oh, what are you for? Be the exit key? Maybe here? Oh. Oh, okay, I'm seeing some uh, glow paint. Oh, shit. Oh, no. No, thank you. What the fuck? Oh, that was creepy, dude. Patient in a generally poor condition. Identified numerous wounds on the body. Dislocated left arm and two broken ribs. Dehydrated, malnourished, extremely exhausted. Stabilized after receiving IV drips. No response to external stimuli. Preliminary diagnosis includes shock and catatonia. In addition to treating the injuries, serious psychiatric therapy is recommended. You broke my heart, so I broke yours. I meant to... So I thought. You have to cut deep on the flight that you're looking for. What? It's open. Why did that pop up again? It was weird. Oh, yay. Okay. Oh. Hell here. Oh, great. Oh. Hey. That was a cool ass demo. Like I said at the start, I knew I'd already love it. Definitely going to grab when it's out full. Let me know if you enjoyed this one. And until the next time, I'll catch you later. Thank <laughs> you.